Welcome to Lost Culture, your one-stop destination for everything pop culture. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. We're going to do a walkthrough today on Monster Hunter World, and today we're hunting the Great Jaggers. Now, I'm wearing a full set of hunter gear with the um, hunter's bow. I like to use the hunter bow. I normally grab equipment from the chest when we start off, but today I'm not going to do that. So today, just follow down the straight path. Run down to the main area, like where all the docile dinosaurs are. Don't have to worry about them, they're not going to hurt you. So what I normally do is grab a couple items in this area before I actually go on to the hunt. No. Let's get on. So I'm going to like fast forward through this part while I do that. Let's get right to it. Now here goes our first clue right here. And let's check it out. What I like to do, I like to grab all the clues just so I level up. And looks like... He might be here already because we see the dinosaurs running and I have a green mark going around. He's probably around this bend just going off the way like the map is set up. So come around here. Let's check it out. And there he was. So let's get a bit patient. Do a couple of things real quick before we... Now, so he's in here where the Jaguars were for the first mission. Now come through here. I like to keep my space from them so I like to get behind things and then unload on them. Try to do heavy shots when I can. Try to... Oh, he got me that time. But what I like to do is just sit back and play. Trying to keep my distance from them. Another thing with this one is when you're hunting the, um, the Great Jaguars, when you play with him, he's always going to have, well, when you come around these areas, you're going to see there's always going to be a pack of Jaguars here. So you want to clear them out. I like to grab stuff, or I like to go higher, so I just keep the high ground. So when they come up, I have a nice vantage point on them to unload with them. So boom, just unload them since they're not fighting me, they're fighting my Palkio. And here comes him. And as you notice, when you get enough damage on him, you'll see him start to throw up the animals that he's, that he's eating. Just a little like, sign to show you that he's getting hurt. Or he, um, he also uses that throw up to attack you. So be careful when he opens his mouth at you. He's going to puke off at you. Like I said, the little jaguars will come and attack you while he's coming at you. So just be careful. At the same time, you want to clear them out while still paying attention to him. You're going to see like I'm clearing them out. And he's going to come attack me. Like my road did not work correctly right there. But hey, all's well that ends well. So we got one of the Jaguars down, click on uh, hitting these out. Like I told you guys, just pay attention to him while you guys are trying to clear out the ads or or you guys are doing however you guys decide to go with the method. I like to hit the Jaguars while they're down because sometimes they don't be completely dead. And again, see he ran off but I have a steady track on him. I'm going to loot all of the bodies so I get the extra gear without it disappearing. So we look like I have time right here. I'm just gonna speed through all my looting. Let's just I pick it back up. Alright, now we got eyes back on him. He's on top of the hill. And the easy way to find him, when you can't find him as quick as I did, which was pretty lucky for me. Um all you gotta do is the path is like a circle. He's just a, the path that he takes is a big circle. Now I like to do is I like to do heavy shots on him when I'm can. Only issue with the bow when you do like the dragon piercer, it definitely takes kind of long and it definitely like, throws you back. Like I said, you want to run, keep them off of you. Got to get up that hill. He's definitely not that fast. So basically just unload on him while you can. Boom. And just fight him like that. When you got shots like this, it's the perfect time to do the dragon piercer. Like it takes really well while he's on his side. I like to give you extra damage, so I like to just go off on him when I can. Just keep unloading him all you got. You see how he lost that weight right there? He definitely like keep hitting him. He's gonna fight a little bit more. Then he's gonna be ready to retreat. And there we go, he's retreating. 
So, again, pick up our stuff, and we're back to the hunt. Now that we got eyes back on him, like he was over here eating, he's gonna fight. So like he's over here fighting my palico. Oh, uh, he blitzed me. No problem. I got a couple of jaguars. I don't know what I fell for. I have no idea. Did he clip me or something? But it's a jaguar. Another thing, remember. While you're fighting, you also want to like get things ready. That didn't go too well. Like right aimed at that. Just remember, just to keep try to keep your distance from them. Just keep unloading on them when you get the chances to. Like I said, I always try to keep something between me and him. This make, makes it a little bit easier to predict predict where he's going. And another thing I didn't say that when you're playing. All the route that he takes is basically a circle. And it always lead back to that Jaguar's cave. So if you get lose him for any reason, just if you circle back through the Jaguar cave, you'll probably end up finding him. You just go through those routes that all lead to the Jaguar cave. So go to the Jaguar cave and take any of those routes that lead from there. Now, like I said, if he's fighting your Palico, just keep unloading on him or get items that you need to get. Sometimes I forget to put up my stuff, and this is a mushroom I didn't have yet, so try to grab it mid-fight, and like I did that successfully without worrying about him. Oh, he's running. I mean, my palico must put enough damage on him. Now we're going back to the hunt. We're probably going to fight a couple jaguars just in the mode, so once I get back into the fight, I'll slow it down. Or maybe not. Look, he's going to stay and fight for a little bit. Throw a couple of rocks out and just stun him for a second. Like I said, get the tree behind between us. And just start fighting. Oh, and now we got baby jaguars coming. So just unload on them, get them out of the way, so we can fight this guy without any interruptions. Go hang out with these guys. And once you learn how to like, just shoot the bow at a faster pace, you guys are actually pretty easy to take out. Like I said, I get on a higher ground. Because then it takes them a while to get up here for some reason. I don't know why that is. It takes them a little bit of time to get up. So now I'm just unloading on these guys. And I'll get back when I meet the big boy. Looks like we're close again. Now remember. If you need to get help for anything, grab it while you're running through the free spots. And there we go. Like, just like I said, when he's down like that, hit him with the dragon piercer. Boom. We have to get two of them off that time. And while we were running through the path, we had a couple of Jaguar fights. But dude picked up a lot of loot that we were running through. And now we're just fighting them. Especially while they're focused on the Palico. You want to get as much damage done as possible. Where he, especially at moments, up, oh, he's back onto me. Yeah, he got me that time. We just want to get as much damage done as possible when we can. Up, oh, more jaguars. Unload on them. Get them out of the way. And. Here we go, unload on those, dodge him when you can, look at that, that was a good dodge. Now if you see these red fireballs running out, these are very helpful, if you hit one by they're near it, it will blind them, gives you, it will stick, blind them and kind of stun them, that gives you time to unload on them without having to worry about 
them attacking you or anything. And at this moment, I was down for a while. And got a couple shots on me. Survived it. No faints or anything. And just keep fighting them. It's like perfect time. See how I blinded them? Then you just unload again. Dragon Piercer. I might get two of them off. Just trying to get some space between me and him. More Jaguars came to the party. Oh, he went down pretty fast. And now, get some health. Like I said, even though I have a track on him, I like to get these prints just so you see the level up go up on the other side. Just so I get the experience for doing that. And I normally clear up the Jaguars just to make it a little bit easier. I didn't get the loot from them if they die. And it like the big guy is going back to the cave. So I'm going to clear these guys out and going to go meet up with him again. Now after that, looks like we're here for the final showdown. Alright, he rushes me. Got all that charged up. Now just trying to hit him while he has his back to me. Just keep going, just keep going. Up oh, right there. I can't believe I missed that. And there it goes, people. We took down the great Jargus. We can go in and loot him. We'll see what we'll stick around to see what we got. Just remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you guys thought about it. If this was helpful to you guys, leave a thumbs up. And we will be releasing Monster Hunter Move games probably three times a week at the beginning. If we're trying to shoot for it three times a week, but we're also going to be doing new um, new week stuff for Dragon Ball Z Fighters. So stick around. We also do recaps for some of your favorite shows. We do everything here. So thank you guys for tuning in as always. My name is Aston and stay lost.